What's going on my friends? So today I am demoing this old country house. We're out on a ranch and there's several houses that we're having to demo and remodel. Um, there's a huge main house that we're doing. There's a couple of these little like satellite buildings, kind of bunk houses, basically this ranch. There's a bunch of hunters that come out. So it can house a whole bunch of people at the main house. And then there's like a maid's quarters, there's a gym, there's a whole bunch of other different buildings. But today we're just gonna take all of this out. So come and check some of this out. This is the handy dandy backwoods country wire. And uh, this is what we're, this is what I'm running up against. So I gotta take all this crap out. Twist your joints together. Don't do this. This is crazy. This house is what we call a pier and beam house. So down here in Texas, um, a lot of the older houses, especially out in the country, were built on pier and beam. So they have beams that go across and then there's uh, piers. So we set everything on piers every so often. You know, you can see as I walk over here, there's more piers. And so they go all the way across this thing. So a lot of the wiring in these homes are done from underneath. And then we would just go up and we drill at the bottoms and we run all of our wires up. So rather than having attic spaces up above, um, everything's done from below. The other thing that we do in Texas is we do slabs. So a lot of times you'll just have like partially over here. Um, you'll have like an actual slab. So a lot of times in Texas, the entire floor will be a slab and then we build on top of a slab. So up north where I'm from, up in Wisconsin, Minnesota area, a lot of them have basements. So the entire you know, bottom is all concrete. So there's just different ways houses are built, but I gotta get underneath here today and take all of this existing wiring out, demo all the plugs, switches, take all the fans down, take all the lights down, take the sheetrock down, just get rid of everything, the panel and then uh, on our next trip up here, I'm gonna bring a whole bunch of stuff, put new cans, new wiring, and all of that. Also, a big shout out to Klein. Thank you so much, Klein, for sending this to me. This thing, is called the KTB 500. Uh, it is a 505 watt hour high capacity battery. Essentially, it's a mega charger for job sites. So rather than having to haul around a big generator or something like that, um, this thing can run, you know, charge all of your batteries. I usually put my AirPods in it. Now, another thing that I'll use this for is I plug in my batteries. Uh, you can plug in multiple different chargers, charge your batteries. I can plug my radio into this and listen to music all day long. And then one thing to be cautious of, anytime you use any kind of battery power, everything is gonna be rated in watt hours. So this specifically is rated at about 500 watt hours, which means that if you had a 500 watt load, you could run that 500 watt load for an hour, or if you have uh, less than that, like a 50 watt load, you could run a 50 watt load for 10 hours. So you just have to use the math, but uh, 50 watts for 10 hours. I mean, that's going to get you a lot of things out in the field. 500 watts, you're going to dump all that power in an hour. So, so just be kind of mindful of that as you use it. 
So this has been a huge lifesaver because we can keep things going. We don't have any power around us to use anything. back out here for a second day um, as you can see like most of the wires are taken out now we don't have anything down on the ground got rid of that crazy panel there's still a couple of wires that are hanging down in weird places because they're like pinched or they go up into a place that we can't get to so uh, once some of this drywall comes down we'll be able to get the rest of the wires out um, but they're almost done re you know like gutting everything and they've actually started um, reframing everything so they cut out for a bigger French door took some of the walls out there they've uh, put a different beam in they've just started reorganizing all of it there's a new plan that they've got for it so um, probably next week we come out once a week so probably next week they'll be ready for us to start wiring this so I'll try to film that process as well so thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one